What's up, Man 25 gamers? In this in this uh, day's episode of Scheme of the Week, Man 25, three four over defense out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. We're gonna be breaking down our zone blitz uh, play, and let's hop into this real quick. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what I want to say first of all. First of all, guys, the zone blitz I really like to use is the base play, the sting pinch. I really like that pressure, but I uh, will show you guys another compliment to that, and that is the outside linebacker. Fire two. This is a cover two version of our uh, one of our uh, st of, of the sting pit zone basically, and it already has the middle linebacker in the zone. All we need to do with this play is we're going to baseline and press. And it, there's two different ways you can set this up. The first way, spread your defensive line, crash it out, and reblitz both outside linebackers. And you're going to see we're going to get that same type of pressure I was talking about earlier. That super fast block shed pressure at the quarterback. It's very consistent. It will happen every time. Uh, you can try that every now and then. And the, I really like to do is um, baseline press, shift my D-line to the left, crash my D-line up, and uh, re-blitz both outside linebackers here. And you see we're going to get left edge pressure. I really rely a lot on the left edge pressure this year uh, from the 3-4 and just, just kind of like really value it a lot to be able to get pressure that like that because it's very quick off the edge. And it's just, it, it, it hits you right about the out route timing. And that's the only thing you're going to be able to hit. And you're going to see, guys, with this play call, this is kind of our checkmate zone pressure because we're banking on the fact that they're going to try to go short because the pressure comes in so fast. So you see, even when the center picks it up, the pressure comes in so quick that the guard can't slide over in time. So that's why this blitz is so good, guys. It's just a really good pressure to have out of the 3-4. So, this is the zone blitz, guys. Remember, this is going to be called on those clutch third down situations. And remember to adjust out of this based off their tendencies. Adjust your zones. You can make a lot of good coverages with your hot routes this year. And you can see something like this. This is a really good coverage for short yardage. Uh, something like this, even. Uh, this is something I really like to do. Um, something like this with these yellows. Baseline twice. Put everybody in a hook. And yellow... Uh, and baseline twice, and you see you're going to get the heavy pressure. Um, another thing you can do is you could fake like you're in man, so you could man a line here. Actually, hold on one second. Let me see here. Now, man a line. And you see how they're going to line up over the slot here? So it looks like we're maybe in man coverage, but in reality, we're in uh, a zone blitz. And now they don't know. They can't tell. Pressure comes in so fast, they're just going to get sacked. And uh, that's what I really, really like about this pressure. So be sure to add this. Uh, zone look to your arsenal. This is the basic zone pressure, and uh, in tomorrow's video, we're going to talk about our basic man pressure. So be sure to use these two blitzes uh, based off of your judgment in those short yardage situations where you need to be able to send a guy free at the quarterback, create heavy pressure, and create really good stops for your defense. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. And also be sure to check out the description. There's some links in there that I really want you guys to look at. Uh, I put a lot, you know, I put a lot in there for you guys. And uh, just so you guys have the information at your disposal to be the best players you can be. Thanks for watching today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.